Katie Wheeler here, your remote instruction coordinator, today talking about remote classroom management. Just as we would in person or via an asynchronous course, we need to make sure we're managing our classrooms well so that students have the best possible environment for learning. There are two tools that you can use in either WebEx or Zoom as you're teaching your remote class. The first is the mute to unmute features and the second, removing a participant if needed. Let's take a closer look at our options in WebEx and Zoom for muting and unmuting. Managing the discussion as well as managing who is asking questions when and who gets involved in a discussion at a certain point is a major part of managing our classroom. To do this in Zoom or WebEx, you have full control over who is muting and who is unmuting. You can do this in two ways. As you set up your meeting, in your settings, you can select everyone to be muted upon entry into the meeting. You can do this both in Zoom and WebEx. Specifically, here's what it looks like in Zoom when you select to mute all participants. Here's what it looks like in WebEx when you select the check mark next to always mute attendees when they join the meeting. This means individuals have to unmute when it is their turn to speak. And one of my favorite phrases to use is raise your digital hand or raise your physical hand when you're ready to contribute to the discussion. Something else that you can do if you're in a classroom and suddenly a lot of individuals are unmuting and they're not supposed to, navigate to the participants panel in both Zoom and WebEx and you'll see this mute all button. This means that you can take the focus back to you as the instructor. These are two ways that you can use the mute and unmute features to control the flow of discussion in your lectures and to ensure that you stay in control and the focus of the class. The second thing I want to talk about is how to remove a participant if needed. If the behavior gets out of control and the focus is taken away from your classroom, you can remove a participant from either Zoom or WebEx. The first thing that you'd want to do is make sure that you are recording the incident. Try to get a video file of what is happening. Then navigate to the participants panel where you will either right click on the participant's name or select the arrow and menu to the right of their name. In WebEx, it asks you to expel them. In Zoom, to remove them. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is the example from WebEx where I have right clicked on the name. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see that expel and that's what you'll click on. It will ask if you want to confirm the expulsion of this individual, you select yes. In Zoom, it looks very similar, but it's in a menu, the more to the right of the participant. And at the bottom, it says remove. Again, it will ask you to confirm this and you select yes. After you've removed the participant, you can get the focus back on what you were supposed to be doing that day in class. After class, make sure you send an email to your chair or your dean so that they know what happened and what is going on. And what you should also do is make sure you fill out a, the report a concern on student behavior. You can do this by navigating to ppcc.edu. Scroll to the bottom of the website and you'll see a list of I want to, and you want to select on report a concern slash incident. A list of forms will be brought up for you, and the one that you're specifically filling out is the student conduct issue or distressing disturbing student behavior. And this is what helps to get the behavioral intervention team or the BIT team involved in what's going on. These are some tools that you have to manage your classroom. I want you to keep in mind that whether you're in person or remote, you are still in control of that space. These tools are here for you to use and will help you manage that classroom. If you need to test these skills out or get some more help here, I am available at remote.instruction at ppcc.edu.